We're chilling though. We cashed. 50 gold has been added. This is going to be a little busy. Bear with me. Oh no. We can start a Lowy. What is the best item for two girls, one clock? I think it's Tear or Crick Love. Tear, Crick Love, Sword are probably the best items for two girls, one clock. It's two girls, one clock. It's a, it's a new comp. It's Syndra. Okay, I can't even say this right. It's, it's Syndra, Zillion, Quinn reroll. It's basically Quindra and Time Flies put together. Broad, huh? I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna get, we always get, uh, what's it called here? Art. Wait, we actually did! Oh shit, but it's also like, is this not like the best two girls, one clock opener you've ever seen in your life? Is this not the best two girls, one clock opener you've ever seen in your fucking life though? Right? I have a Quinn, I have a clock, I have a Camille. Do I make this tome yet? I don't, right? There's no way I do this tome. I pop this tome yet. I don't even need a level. I don't even need a level, do I? Okay, I'm gonna lose to that. I'm gonna not, not lose. I'm gonna beat that other guy. I'm gonna beat that Jordal player. They are super weak. I wait on tome. Uh, I wanna, uh, so what I can do, I can either, uh, there's no real reason to pop right now because I have three Merc. The only reason would be to be able to play a weaker unit than MF, than MF, I guess, to make sure I lose to the Yordle guy. But there's not really any big reason to pop the tome yet. Um, Cause if you wait until you have more synergies, then they'll, it'll be slightly tailored. So if you have seven, it's one trade is always tailored to what something you have. And if you have like eight, I think two are always tailored to something you have. I can't make that. All right, it's the first. I could pop it now though. Cause if I hit a Merc spat, then I can guarantee lose to this guy. They're Merc, I can't guarantee lose to that guy. They're Merc, okay, I'm, I'm fucked. That guy is just full open. I can't do anything about it. Because they're plus one merc. <laughs> I have to I'm forced to play one more unit than they are. I'm I'm just straight up like more thog says no man, you have to play one more unit than them right now. Hmm. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. I'll tell you what. I can take this Singed in this guy because if I, what I have to do this turn maybe is pop the uh, uh, is pop the thing, hit a Merc Spat, hope they play another unit, and then Merc Spat, put my Merc Spat on like a really weak unit. Because if I have like a Caitlyn one, a Quinn, is that enough? Okay, I'm down. He did not hit the Merc Spat. Okay. Or I'm playing Bruiser Frontline. I win this no matter what, so there's no point in trying to. You know, I don't actually win this no matter what. Is their MF's gonna ult both my units? I need seven trades to get it tailored. But I want to hit Merc Spat so I can play a weaker unit than MF. Their MF hits both my units. I might be able to lose that. It's close. I needed to auto Quinn. Yeah, 6, 8, oh, is it 6, 8, 10, 12? I thought it was 7, 8, 10, 12. 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, so 6 then. I mean, I am not plus 1 Merc. I just want a blue buff. I think I can win this. If I position really poorly. I actually needed a Lowy up as well, but here, right? Because then the MF hits my entire board. It's the only way to do it. Tome is based on played last round, yeah. Okay, we're going to feign this. Oh, they hit five Merc. Yes! Oh, thank God they hit five Merc. We're bang chilling. Oh, we are bang fucking chilling. They are way stronger than me now. Hey, hey, give me give me them. Ca Let them cash out on me right now. I am so fucking down. Let them cash out on me right now. This is the same situation I was in in tournament where like I had to play more, more units than them because I was on their side, right? Let me play them. <laughs> and they get the, because they, because they're forced to play five Merc because it's so good. And like, they only hit me some of the time. I just always am chilling. And they, yeah, this, it's, it's a super fucked up situation if they hit me. It's actually just like the most frustrating situation in the world when, they, when you're them. 
This happened to me in Morthog Madness. Uh, I was on the five Merc side of this. We're like, I had to play five Merc, but they only they didn't they hadn't hit five Merc yet. Um, so I had to play more units than them if I want to get five Merc in. And it's like it's a super low ch not a super low chance, but it's like a one in four they hit me here. Um, and if they hit me, they're fucked. <laughs> the rest of the their game's just over. Not over, over, but like it's pretty bad. It's like it's it's pretty fucking rough. I should have sold this too. I was gonna, and I was like, eh. I think the GP is actually weaker than the Alawi though. But I need to be very careful with this board. We're chilling. Nice. 64? Five loss. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, that, that spot for them sucks. It, it, it's it, like, you never want to be put in that spot. Like, you have to not hit me it, it feels terrible and it's just like that's what it is right it, it like really really sucks like super super annoying and not at all good game to be but that's the thing but it, it's an interaction that happens hand towards or not a? yeah probably i mean i think you should always pop tome on, on one four like there's never really a reason to not pop tome because the problem is if you don't pop tome it means you're playing around your game around uh it, it, if you're not playing merc i will say it's like it can make your board stronger give me direction immediately um because merc's obviously strong enough to give me direction in whatever way i want but um but uh if you don't pop tome on at, at the very beginning of the game what you're doing basically is you're saying okay i need to hit this certain thing otherwise i'm doomed to this game which is oh I'm not playing, uh... <laughs> I'm not playing the other thing. Wait, do I win this Kha'Zix? I don't win, right? I just kill one. Jack's stronger than me for sure. Jack already cashed, right? It's better to get the instant, um... Like, like direction than it is to try to, like, play your game around a certain tome and then not hit it. Because, like, you're still not likely to hit the tome you want when you, when you pop it, right? It's, like, very unlikely to hit the one you want. Even if you wait to get it tailored. So it's just not at all worth it. Cause it makes your game like, it totally fucks up your game most of the time. And I can probably just play this. I don't have Edge of Night. Am I playing Kaisa? Probably, huh? I can just play Kha'Zix though. I'm always down for RFC. Well, I guess the problem with this is I don't have, what's it called? Can you RFC Hodge was fun maybe? Pause. I don't have any uh, any easy rots like this, and I won't get any. I go hard or blue though, and then we're not playing towards Renata. Why just playing towards like Cho plus other guys? We can also just play towards Jin. Jin's also pretty good from this spot. Yeah, but it's not just about loose shrieking. It's about like what direction you want to go in. It's about more about what direction you want to go in. Oh my god. Okay, well I'm definitely playing these. <laughs> uh, it's much more about like, what direction you put yourself in. That game. Okay, I don't care about show then at all, do I? I see Rexai. Three three cost champions for a seven one. Uh, I, I'm never playing show when right when it's dark star. I'd much rather just play three three mutant than never put in show gap. I might win that. It's a little scary, but I don't think I do. I don't think I ever play this Cho'Gath, to be honest. It's always... I have to, maybe, for a bit, potentially. Cash. The question is, what does this Rod want to be? I need an Edge of Night component, right? So I go Sword. If I don't get Edge of Night, I'm doomed. Potentially. Yeah, it's a Dark Star lobby. If I don't get Edge of Night, this game is kind of fucked. So I need a Sword. I don't really need Zeezer on tonight's situation. I just go Edge of Night, RFC, Hodge, Kha'Zix, and it's not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. I should lose this well, right? Eh. It's not terrible. I killed, like, what, two? One? Killed one. Because killed a bug and a target dummy as well. <laughs> Cute. Holy shit. Slow down. No one wants this Kha'Zix. No one cares about this Kha'Zix. <laughs> nice. Uh, I want to cash out now. It's eight loss. I should get something decent here, right? Copium. <laughs> I 
Two five cost champions. Probably a Kaisa. I'm going eight before I roll. I'm definitely going eight before I roll. In case you don't cash out yet. Let's make you a little more productive here than this guy. I mean, I might cash out regardless because I'm, I'm actually not that weak. I have two Kha'Zix and Kha'Zix is a very good unit. But I should at least be able to kill a lot with the two Kha'Zix. We'll see though. They're just very annoying to deal with. I think I'll be two lives. Might need to roll a little bit here to not be one life. I need to definitely not be one life. Hmm. Being one life is very sus. Dude, three, four cost champions? What is that cash out? <laughs> what is that? What is that cash? They have a Nico and I don't think I've gotten a Nico's yet. A little scary. I could play this Talon. Or one Kha'Zix. I think two Kha'Zix is just better. We're hitting the Nara. Paul go. Okay, Nara's gonna, have, gonna kill my whole team. That's okay though. We shouldn't die ever here. We might actually win this still. We are looking kind of beefed. Although Kha'Zix is dying. Nice. Good fight. We are two lives. That's all we need in life, is two lives. No one can stop me from cashing out. I don't think so, at least. But I hit Kha'Zix 2 here every time. Oh, these cash outs, man. <laughs> are so bad. Shouts are kind of ass. I get a sword and a Kha'Zix too, and we're good. I didn't think I need the sword, to be honest. Cash out. I always win this, right, Copium? Oh, I lost. <laughs> I lost. I could have slammed blue. I don't think it would actually make a difference, though. I'm kind of surprised I lost this. Kha'Zix just kind of popped. I guess I did need Edge of Night. I need Silco in. Over a Shitter, then. I need Silco in over a Shitter, for sure. I don't need Silk Winner Rush Hitter. I just need to hit more. Oh, I think Alawi's actually better than that. Okay, don't die. Fuck it. Buy over Quinn? I need Merkin. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm really doomed. We're chilling, though. We cashed. 50 gold has been added. Okay, it's gonna be a little dizzy. <laughs> this is gonna be a little dizzy. Bear with me. Oh no. playing this Braum. I need Edge of Night real bad. Like, real bad. I might be dead. They have Edge of Night, I don't. I think I'm dead. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. 
We have we have this guy in the back. We're we're chilling. Both of you. This guy in the back. My cash out wasn't amazing. No Nikos is a little. I think I had like two five costs. I don't know. I'm down to pick everything up on level though. <laughs> it's fine. I just need to start on this carousel, and then I think we're okay for the foreseeable future. And then we get rid of some shit. I mean, I can't clear my whole bench there. It's just not really in the cards. I don't need this. I need sword. I don't care about the Kaisa. Like the five costs, I can just find at nine anyways. We get rid of this guy. You can play this guy. We need Sedge then. No, we just play this. You want to get rid of that? You want to get rid of a lot of shitters, but. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I, 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 there's no way to actually, like, regionally make bench space there and level at the same time. While, like, making a good enough board to not die. So I'm finally just, like, letting the four, five costs die and, like, like, get sold and then find them again later if I need them. Oh, I need a Ka Kaisa. Stat. I'm not playing this guy. feels worse, but I'm going to do it. Let's see how it feels. I'm for a bruiser. It only feels worse. I don't lose to anyone, though, anytime soon. Silco is just getting target on me. It's fine. It's fine for now. I'll probably have Kazus or another Silco. Kazus or Silco. I need to get rid of the Zack. I like Kazus over Zack. Probably fine, too. There's a lot of ways to do it. I mean, I, I'm not under any risk of losing for a while, though. Which is good. <laughs> I'm not under any risk of losing for a little while. So I can take my time. I need to play this... This guy, obviously. This guy won't, might want to get played. Probably not, though. I'll just sell him. Uh, Virgin Bale's not bad. Radiant Relic's not bad, either. Edge of Night? <laughs> okay. What's the other guy I need? Should be in over something. I mean, I can drop this. This. I just drop this for now. Or one off. Oh, this wants to be in, doesn't it? Hey, this is better. I need uh, what's his face? I need what's his face. Cassidy, I feel like. Okay, we should be okay. We got Brink of Dawn. We're about to hit Cosmic's three. We're not losing this, right? No, no. Of course not. Of course not. I really want this Bruiser Spat off a of Kaisa. If I find another Kaisa, I'll probably just put Bruiser Spat. I'll just sell this Kaisa and like move the design. So I want Hodge JG owner, obviously. A little bit of a dizzy situation. <laughs> it's fine. I really don't want to play this guy though. I just want to play Cassidy. I want to play Cassidy and another guy. How much do I really need Sin? Not that much. Should be reasonable hit Cod 3 here. Sword. I'll go. I got another GA? Holy. Okay. How many GAs can one man have? I don't care about Victor, right? I can't really give a shit about that unit. I give a shit about that unit. Oh. Which kind of bed units? I want this Kaisa to have these items. Second Kha'Zix, though. Natural. I'm still, uh, I don't think I'm under any risk of lo losing yet, still. But I could lose, actually. No, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. Not with these items on Kai'Sa now. You should 1v10. Always. Holy damage. 
We're gonna have Kha'Zix. We probably wanna play this Challenger. Maybe just find another Challenger. Better. A little busy. No Mutant Spat makes this a little awkward. Okay, this is good. I wanna play Silco, obviously. I mean, I'd better just drop these two. Probably the better board. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is probably the much better board. I don't need that much Dark Star. <laughs> I think just getting a little bit of value is fine, and just playing a little bit better units and getting items on this Kha'Zix is much better. And getting Brink of Dawn means it's very tough to lose. Now we're just looking for this and this, and we're being chillin'. If I hit the um the Kaw 3 and I cast it in, I'll play two more mutant again. Until then I'm just gonna keep donkey rolling. What does Brick of Dawn do? It's Edge of Night, but it happens twice. It's just an Edge of Night that happens twice. <laughs> Alright, I think we're fine. I could always blue up Silco as well, but I think it's a little risky because if Silco ever actually hits my Kaisa here, it's fogged. Because Edge of Night does not save her from Silco ult. <laughs> Probably that much. Silco does not save her. Edge of Night does not save her from Silco ulting her. Which is why I want her to be nice and healthy. Can I just take Zephyr to deny it. I need a Morello's. Okay, I'm pretty strong. There are enough Kha'Zix to hit. I'd rather keep rolling now. Any tips on how to comfortably play Mercs and use Econ Trades better? Um, I had to really force myself <laughs> to be comfortable with Merc. Um, I think it's just about like getting a little more comfortable with losing, with losing rounds, and then just like being confident. And it's a lot about confidence and making sure that you, you are confident that you know you are gonna actually spike back and. Be okay. I might still start feeding a little bit, I guess. All right. I mean, Kaisa getting one Edge of Night proc here is actually really good. Because it means that she has more attack speed for the rest of the fight. And just kills stuff the next time. We have two Dark Star Kha'Zix. I don't even know if Kha'Zix 3 is better than having two Kha'Zix 2 with these items. I'll be honest. Something tells me that two Kha'Zix 2 is actually stronger. Yeah. I mean, I. Do I, do I even make a three star Kha'Zix here in this spot? I feel like he has a much higher chance to do stupid shit. Or like both Kha'Zix together kind of do a lot of good work. Maybe I'll just vibe for a bit. Do I ever lose to this somehow? I don't think so. Jack's hatching an egg. Play Jason Sedge for Enforcer. Depends on the matchups. Because like I can never, I never really enforce anything useful except for this one, but I don't need to enforce anything useful in that one. I guess Dragon maybe is useful to enforce. Yeah, there will be a Draven holder, don't you worry. I'm holding this Draven. Don't you worry. Not that it really matters, because I think I beat Draven 3 very easily on this board, but there we will be holding this Draven. Should just have a big one then. He does have egg. He's got a fat egg. I think there are much better units than these bruisers to play. For now, I'm kind of comfortable just sitting on him. Watch his egg. Oh, two TGs, double fawn. Oh, no. Wait, no, is it double fawn? It is double fawn. Double fawn, double TG. Jeez. He should hit Draven 3, though, even if I hold Dravens. Is Kaisa on Silco good? No. I, I This thing doesn't need to be in Silco, obviously. Yeah, I should put, like, this in Silco. But I want her to auto a bit before she gets her first ult off. If she had, like, Umbrellos, it would be fine to put her on Silco, but... This is... I don't want an R Silco. I mean, yeah, I'd like to play 5 Dark Star. Okay, 3 Star, that guy. Padiki, Padiki, I'm hitting Padiki, Padiki, Padiki is pressed. One more time. I think I should be holding these other guys. All right, I want this, this in. Wins better for now though. I just hold the Draven. Cute.
Although, again, I don't think him hitting that's really the end of the world. We shouldn't cast instantly, which means Kha'Zix and Kai'Sa should never get hit by it. Killing everything. I'll go. Feed Frog. I don't even think I want to keep Frog, I'll be honest. I don't know if, I, if it's worth it to feed Frog. Yeah, he has QSS, so like Enforcer is not going to really do anything in that matchup. I want to play this and this once I hit Kha'Zix 3, I think. Assuming I do. I'll make it. This shit does not matter. Maybe it does matter a little bit. I can't play Jack. I'm not gonna beat Frog. I don't know. I mean, I can probably still AFK and win the game. This fight's a little scary though. Oh, yes! He got TG stuck on it. Oh, shit, Enforcer is useful. He got TG stuck on it. Oh, fuck, I need the Sedge now. I thought he, I, he had Last Whisper. I thought he had Last Whisper IE QSS on it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I see, Jack. I see. <laughs> I see. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll run some enforcer action then, which means TK's probably even less likely to be on the board by the end of the game. He just lived a Dark Star Kaisa ult. What a beast. Shogath, more like Chad Gath. Alright, can I hit this? I just skipped Sedge. Man, I can't. I cannot right now. Also, four Bruiser is fucking useless. I need this Quinn though, don't I? I want to win the Draven. Oh, but that thing rolled. It rolled. Oh no, it rolled GS plus other thingy. It's super hard to quit the Draven. That rolled two attack speed items. I think I always win this though, because I have, yeah, I have, I have Radiant Edge of Night. They roll attack speed items. Oh, that's good. Take that. <laughs> Moj <Mode> Jack. <laughs> it happens to everyone though. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Or Bruiser's fake. I can take out this as well. I don't even have four Bruiser in, obviously. Special light hex. I kind of want to play Scholar, but I mean this this Vi is actually not bad to play. Yeah, Warwick was nerfed over this trait. Opium. Dude, imagine being a Talon trying to beat a, a this board. This is the first, like, decent Dark Star game I've had in a long time. Dude, I got... Like and subscribe on YouTube. <laughs> Sheesh. God damn, that got dizzy.